Hey guys, uh, apologize it's getting dark on me here so the video is not too good with the lighting, but uh, I, uh, I think I found the best way to wire up your, hardwire your lockers without cutting into your differential wiring. I, you know, I didn't want to cut into that because, you know, the factory wiring is already routed. It's already waterproof. It works pretty good. And uh, so I thought, well, why not cut in by, by the smart bar? And this is what I found. Uh, you take this, uh, this wiring off here at the smart bar. There's a little clip here you got to push in. And then uh, it's easier to get to if you take this tape off here and pull that convoluted tubing back. Inside here, I found uh, two big black ground wires, a big red hot wire, and a bunch of little yellow wires. It was real easy to figure out which ones was the uh, front and rear locker because they're twisted together. They're taped up special. They're really off to the side. It's real easy to identify. Uh, the front locker, both yellow wires. One has an orange stripe and a green stripe. The green stripe is the ground. On the rear locker, both yellow wires. One has a brown stripe and one has a white stripe. The brown stripe is your ground. So I put the two grounds together, the yellow green and the yellow brown. And then uh, here's your front. You put, and they only run on 10 amps. So any switch will run them. You don't even have to monkey around with the relays. I'm gonna take and run this over to the frame, driver's side, there's a, there's a ground over there. That then they'll be taken care of. Put convoluted tubing on it and it's done. Then inside, I can run a, a fused hot wire out here off of any old switch to run the rear locker. And then the front locker is the orange one. And uh, you're boom, you're done. You just take and uh, pop that back on there. And then pop your convoluted tubing back on there. You got your ground and you, your two hots, and you're done. And... Uh, Voila, I tested it Seem, with a power probe. Seems like it's going to work pretty good. Should work on Jeeps, too. All these smart bars are about the same, I, I think. I mean, this is a 2016 Power Wagon here. Uh, what I might do is I might take one of the little $50 modules that runs like four accessories, and they got like a wireless keychain remote uh, with like one, two, three, and four. Uh, I might put that under the hood and then run a couple short wires down here for the hots. And just run it wirelessly from inside the cab and then I, I might just have like a backup wire wiring harness when i go to moab that way in case i lose the battery or it goes dead or i lose my remote i can just hurry up and wire this up with switches inside and run them up through the door as a backup but now i think this is going to work better than uh for hard wiring your locker not having to cut into the differential wiring and it's cheap and uh and the sway bar, I've, I've not had any trouble with my sway bar disconnecting. Oh, if you ever have trouble with your sway bar disconnecting on a power wagon, and you got to do that rocking it back and forth business, just shut off your ignition and turn it back on, and then and then hit your unlock when you're in four-wheel drive. And you might have to rock it a little bit if you're sitting uneven. But uh, whenever my lockers, especially the lockers, would give me trouble, just shut the ignition off. Turn it back on, and then they work like a champ. Otherwise, God, you'll sit there for five or ten minutes fighting them things. Just shut the engine off and try it again, and by God, then it'll work. But now I'm going a step further. I'm hardwiring them, and, and it's just all right here, so easy to get to. I, I hope this helps you out. I don't want to go too long with this video. Bye.